In DDM 2008.2, enhancements to the web client allow improved control over viewing rights for external suppliers or customers. Using a combination of DDM folders, the DDM web login and advanced access controls, it is now possible to restrict viewing rights to just the drawings, parts, assemblies or documents that have been referenced into a supplier's or a customer's folder. This means that when a supplier or customer logs into DDM Web, they will just see the items that are in folders that they own. This opens up the opportunity for giving suppliers access to the latest drawings for quotation or manufacture. Customers can access the latest user manuals and service technicians can access full product-based technical information. This viewlet shows how to use this new and powerful functionality. A separate viewlet shows how to set up restricted DDM web access through the DDM administration tool. We want to provide a supplier who has a restricted DDM web user account with a set of drawings for quotation. Logged in as the engineering manager, we first need to create a folder to hold the drawings. If we open the DDM folder window, we can select from the available folder templates the supplier folder. Click on create to create the folder. We first need to give it a unique name and in this example the system is configured to use the auto numbering tool. With the folder now named we give it a state, in this case active, and then we continue to populate the folder form with the relevant supplier information. Once the folder is created, we accept the option to make it our current folder. We now need to select the drawings to add to the supplier's folder. If we return to the main DDM user interface, we can search for the drawings in the PX1003 project folder. There is already a saved search set up for this project folder. If we select all the drawings, we can now right click, drag and drop them to the supplier's folder. In this case, once I have hold of the drawings, I can use Alt-Tab to switch focus back to the supplier's folder. Now the drawings can be dropped in place. We have the option to reference or reserve the drawings into the supplier's folder. These are just being dropped in for reference purposes, and so we select Reference. In this case, it is only the drawings we want in the folder and not all the underlying parts, and so we select No to all required components. Now the drawings are referenced into the folder, we send the complete folder to the supplier. The dialog that shows allows us to add a message to the body of the email that will be sent to the supplier. Once the folder is sent, our workbench is restored as our current working folder. We can search for the folder again that we have just sent and in this way we can confirm that the folder is now owned by our supplier giving them visibility on the contents. In response to the email notification, the supplier now logs into DDM Web. Searching on suppliers folders, we see a list of folders owned by the supplier. Selecting SF5, we see the full contents of the folder that has just been sent by the engineering manager. Using standard DDM Web functionality, the supplier can open and print the drawings as required. Logging into DDM Web as a customer, the customer called Vending Supplies, we see a different set of folders, this time owned by the customer and with their own unique contents. This concludes the presentation on application and use of restricted web user accounts in DDM. Please take time to view the associated viewlet in the series that shows setting up and administering these accounts.